excited anticipation. That's a good way to talk about nervousness and exciting energies, hey? So let's shift some energy straight away. Hi, welcome. Good to see you, Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide, Anastasia Compos. I'm here because I choose to be with you, those of you that are here today. This was half an hour notification to come in. So welcome, stay tuned. You being here speaks volumes. The, the goodness and the goodies and the insights come through this live streaming. So I just want to highlight to you consciously right now that after 30 years and as Ascension Pioneer Trailblazer and a template in grounding and physically feeling and embodying in my human being vessel for 30 years I'm now stepping back because my old role in transmuting through the physical is over so what am I doing here I'm choosing to come here to share this with you live for those of you whose vibrations are able to uptake this is up to 10d I shifted into 5d 20 years ago and ahead of time and many of you are ahead of time as well but don't get ahead of yourself in comparing and in comparison through this live and saying um i did that last week if you do any of that i did that last week already been through that already done that you are not slowing down to uptake something new to the planet being voiced firstly because I want to gently remind you to consciously uptake the energies flowing through this today are coming from a maximum of 10D, which is the highest vibration. I'm speaking slowly and clearly for a reason to, to slow down for you to take the time to listen to the words, not because I don't feel that you are not intelligent, please that is not where i am coming from i am a giant mirror of a mirror and you've never encountered this energy before your energy it's all about you it's not about me okay so allow yourself time and space to integrate everything here by slowing down breathing tilt your head back and i call that a galactic breath I'm not like others that have been on their journey for a while that are up and out doing videos. I'm very different. I'm very unique. I don't fuck around with my words anymore. I don't hold back, yet I've pulled back, which then gets looked at by professionals and those that have been out there for a while as something of a lower vibration, where in fact that is a projection of a shadow energy because many are projecting shadow energies through their trauma and stepping into self-righteousness, okay? That is 3 minutes 30 seconds, 3-3, three, three. there's the master's numbers. What I just spoke then was purely as guided that was needed to shift the energies. When I watch this back myself, I will see what I've voiced and brought through to clear the energies. I see the unseen 10D is the highest vibration that you can reach in the physical body through feeling and through consciousness. So that is why that the higher that we rise, there's less people. And this is where we find ourselves here. So I am still here linking, holding hands and jumping puddles with those of you usually seasoned souls that have been on this journey for a while. Usually those souls that are helping others to help themselves. So however, how I speak and share is coming from my heart and soul because so much of spirituality which i'm moving away from that word spirituality i've spoken about this in other videos 
moving away from that term because it's been bastardized so much so much is hiding of the unseen through those labels through people's shadows projection jealousy there is a range of things going on so but shift that old energy see yourself in a plunge pool of clear water and as you go in that plunge pool you see like twigs and sticks and leaves and all sorts of dirt and muck slowly lifting off you now every opportunity that i come on live now as guided by the universe god spirit source whatever name you want to put on it i come for the energy of unconditional love see this coming up halfway through your body and if you're listening to this and not watching what i've got is my hands up to my neck as in lifting slowly lifting the old debris up see the imbalance and as I lift that, there we go, old debris up. I'll tell you a, a, a little story recently when I went out. As your light shines, you'll know this yourself. You get noticed, people are looking at you. And one lady even, here we go, big block shift releasing right now, even said to me, are you into spiritualism? And I looked at her and I paused for a very first time because I'm under we, and when I say I, I'm a template for humanity and embodying. We are undergoing a massive transformation, walking two worlds, 3D and 5D, okay? And I paused and for the very first time, I said, you know, because there was very, these were women older than me and you could see they were strong women. They weren't into fluffy stuff. <laughs> and so I kept it very real, very grounded, very understandable and relatable and said, you know, I don't want to go with any label. I really uh, am about love and unconditional love and polite and manners and respect. And she just looked at me. She said, well, that's what it's originally about, isn't it? And then we moved on. Yes. And what's happening so much everywhere people we are have moved away from the heart-based feeling embodying consciously how else are we going to create our new worth if you're not feeling to embody it can't all be done in the astrals it can't be all done in the multi-dimensions it can't all be done stuck on the past lives it can't all be done focusing on the outer of oh, there's a solar eclipse and all this is going to happen the amount of energy that people this is always in love and respect that people are pouring on the outer even another soul that's been on their journey another blu-ray last night <gasps> what do you think about the energies at the moment the clips i said please stop and they just stopped i said don't do that she said just let it go i said just carry on and she went thank you that's better okay that is what i'm talking about please don't focus on the five thousand year uh uh, we haven't reached here for 5,000 years. This is the event. This is the big event. This is the event. Let me say to you, you are the event. Yes, there is a wonderful, amazing planetary. All the planets are lining up. There's a lot of tears releasing and anger releasing at the moment. Please know it's more than just you. You are holding and carrying generational energies, an old timeline energy. You're also in this transition of the old and the new and the crossover and this confusion and and then as you start to feel and come into your body more uh dis-ease stems from emotions that need to be looked at and what you came through with do you see how complex it is <laughs> yet it's very simple really when you come back home to you in pure unconditional love in loving yourself first what are you whispering to yourself in your secret space that which I'm going to talk about something soon. I've got quite a lot to share here today and I'm not going to cut down on anything here. I am not a business. I am here from a heart-based, being grounded and embodying, being raw and real and speaking about truth and outing old shadow energies from spiritual gurus and people on stages and platforms because enough is enough yet each needs to find their way themselves love and respect 
for all. There's a second layer and tier of the healing that comes with you being here today. Why am I slowing down to explain this? I'll tell you why. I'll let you know why. So you can consciously uptake and understand there is more to the videos that I hold space in. I'm just not here talking from my head and talking and sharing and then people pay me millions of dollars. Again, no disrespect. Absolutely not. You know what I'm talking about, energies. I am sharing of my energy of the divine which opens up a link which is pure for you with the gold coming out of your crown right now for you to help you help yourself. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Spiro. Hi, Rhonda. You'll watch later. Poor reception. Bless. Hi, Catherine. Hey, beautiful Jade. Um, Spiro, I'm going to read out that Mystics post that you shared recently. Uh, it's too important not to. I will share from time to time other people's writings or videos, and I'll start to share more soon. That is vibrationally of the divine that is pure of the highest levels. It, they're few and far between. I found a couple today. Woohoo! Happy days. So more of the authenticity is behind the scenes than out. Please know that. Love and respect for all. Feel the warm flow upgrade through all of your energy centers right now of the gold filtering and trickling through through your crown through all your energy centers gently trickling through your body for the rest of this video so this is where people say where and this is in respect for all why do i keep saying that because at the moment there is so much projection even from those closest to us because everybody is dealing with the lot that everyone is coming from their filter and the amount of tax and lashing out that people are not intentionally doing it but they're holding that energy in their field that we need that i've needed to back away from yet also set my boundaries energetically speak up and then come back in here in the first that i haven't in my way in my whole life i've had to cut off all cords and ties with the bff for 50 years my own birth mother everybody i have not found myself in this position since pre-birth energetically so a lot of what i'm sharing now are pre-steps pre-ascension steps because somewhere along the way spirituality has become a business about money it's not about money. That is an old three, third dimensional concept. When you shift it out of money to an energy exchange, it changes the whole vibration and everything flows freely. And you will receive whatever it is to come to you when you get out of your own way of the head of trying to put it in a box and understand and trying to make this work and I'm so frustrated and this person's not helping me and where are all the healing communities and we're spiritual wounded and all of that needs to go. You need to let that go. That fight is of the old that you no longer need to do that. That's what you're heading towards if you haven't already started to. And please know there's many layers and levels to do that. So slow down and uptake by mirroring what I'm saying. Because the energy here is to be honoured and respected for what it is of a trailblazer ascension pioneer template ahead of time of embodying inwardly consciously for 30 years that in itself is what needs to be honored and respected and there's the rain cleansing cleansing so that's the third layer of clearing see how many layers we're going through and now i'm going to share that when I came to do the video, I started writing and I kept writing three paragraphs, four paragraphs, and I went, stop, I need to read what I've written and then I will come here and personally deliver it because it just keeps coming. So, are you ready? Global event planets aligning. Yes, we will feel energies from this eternally as you are the event. Don't be caught up in the outer. 
dear master soul as in ooh ah <laughs> that can be from the head and detaching as to feel is to be very very brave when you come home and make peace with yourself that's when you know you're starting to embody and starting to arrive and coming home to yourself i know many of you may not want to feel well big shift releasing because i commend those of you who do and those who are about to and those who have reached as far as they can go and are hanging on the best way they know can they know whew, shift that those who have reached as far as they can go and are hanging on the best way they know and i'm anchoring that energy in i'm voicing firstly and newly i'm balancing between spirit and soul it takes a lot to voice to bring a video through and what that is is so many souls are caught up in so much trauma they've cleared and healed as much as they can this lifetime that they are in a holding pattern so to speak within that they feel they're great they're flowing and they're fine yet with others they're coming from an element of righteousness or an element of feeling triggered from their past traumas have others have treated or spoken to them and they're projecting that onto others okay because that's their way of coping to survive to remain here we need to have gentleness love and compassion for those souls if you see people in their spaces and they're getting what they're getting to their capacity this is not about levels or comparing or putting anyone lowest or above it's got nothing to do with that they're all 3d concepts and terms this is all about energies we are all equal we are all one energetically vibrationally so it's been quite tough but we are also saying we've had enough of transmuting for all of humanity and for others of more than our share let me keep going crying anger and all sorts of emotions are arising which for some is new and others know to feel and release and keep strong and firm in faith and trust we are releasing for a bigger picture that many are not here consciously yet you are paving a new way for you and others by being here today and i thank you and honor you as this is so very important i know what it's like thank you for the big release uh nina yeah the rain spirits hey deb i'm glad you can relate my beautiful girl so it's important to mention we're not underdogs we are quietly working behind the scenes okay big shift is happening i'm going to keep going every time i read something i will pick up on that on the energies and i will get taken places so i'll come back and remain centered why am i explaining it again for you to understand about energies I'm not going into ascension or symptoms because someone wrote a lot of crying and I said yes crying and anger and all sorts of emotions are arising um, I'm not going to go into that now I did that 20 years ago a lot of what's been written and shared bless I've previously already written and shared so I'm adapting to seeing what I've already written shared many times and same as you you're seeing stuff that people are going through okay um, and this is from 30 years working consciously inward ahead of time and nearly pulling back completely yet this year i'm still here as there are other older souls in human years have pulled back and they are so done with transmuting of the older energies uh those who are now ready to step up will come and seek the more i pull back the more my grandma the grandmaster classes that i'm being guided to hold by above they feel my one-on-ones no issues do i advertise no i let people know and be aware what's available but they come and seek i don't need to prostitute myself be careful of prostituting your energies people in a spiritual business because you don't have money come in and 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 i deserve it and i've worked hard you, you fuck stop stop it 
That is all ego and head game stuff. Really, stop it. <laughs> you do whatever you like. I'm just tabling. If you react again, please, I'm always coming from a space of pure, divine, unconditional love. We do not need to chase or advertise like a business. Many are caught up in this. And I'm open to those who wish to book in and help book in for me to help you to help yourself. Because many are dragging the head, mind, business energies into a heart-based loving energy and the two do not gel. That's for another time. There is a way to do this uh, and it's reaching the place of it's not about money, it's all energy. So anyway, let's shift that and I will go into, is this the fourth or the fifth stage or level in this now? <laughs> How many times have I brought through energies and shared about global events and this is the big one? Many. And yet, still, I see here in the human, many not knowing what to embody means. I read something uh, by an amazing person that is sharing all this galactic information, past lives and visions and, and, and Christ's visions and a lot of out there stuff, which is great and wonderful because that is a component of it for many of us. However, it's to not lose oneself in that and to stay up in that and not to feel and embody and ground. A lot of those souls that have been doing that for years are now writing updates of all the physical symptoms. Many are dying. Ones that I've known along my journey are, are, are now dealing with the disease. That's happened. That's why you see a lot of them. Please send me prayers. There's GoFundMes, there's, you know, love and respect to all. I, I wouldn't want people sending me prayers and energy only if it goes direct to God, source, spirit, the divine. I don't want anyone's personal energy to me. You don't know what you're getting. Don't ask is what I say. No, thanks. Why? Be careful what you ask for. You open yourself. You don't know what energy is, what's hijacking, what's back, uh, backing onto that person's energy of the unseen that you can't see that will come through. Be careful what you ask for. So still here in the human, many not knowing. So this soul will actually say, well, what actually is embodying? I'm like, oh, God, goodness me. Good question. Good question about embodying. Feeling, being conscious, wiggling your feet, grounding yourself, embodying, coming into your body. Are you feeling your hands? Are you in your body? Are you feeling or... Are oh, you out there detached? You know, it's an art to learn how to ground. And that is one of the biggest areas most of the souls that I help to help themselves with is learning how to. Because for many of us, that's how we coped. Now, I'm reaching level 59 this year. Level 60 next year. Holy dooly. So back when I was younger, I lived out of my body detached to cope with the trauma and everything that was happening in my life. Why? Because I'm a Blu-ray, very sensitive, ultra centuries empaths. We feel and pick up everything. We don't want to. We don't ask for it. It's just what we do automatically. Well, for a lot of us, that old role is now over. And what we need to do is pull back, regroup, recalibrate, find new ways to reprotect on a constant basis and remove ourselves because we can't help but feel other people's energy and when you've been working on yourself for a while your energy would automatically heal others that are still learning so you tend to pull back and self-isolate more so you don't have to deal with that now that's different to running away from and not even wanting to put up with people's bullshit it's not quite that that's a harsher way of saying it to what i'm saying Okay, so many not knowing what to embody means and hiding shadow energies behind the scenes. Again, what you read and see with people, I know most years ago I knew all of them. I don't know. There's a lot more people out there sharing stuff now. All but a few were hiding behind shadow energies. So watch out who you're following, listening to. Uh, Celia Fenn is clear. Um, Lisa Renee brings through amazing energy so don't shoot the messenger with her some very deep stuff um, Sophie Bashford I'm about to read something from her um, because if I'm going to do this I'm going to do this once in one video I'm not going to break this down and I don't have the energy to stop and break it down and condense it and put it into little TikToks and I am not about that if you want it 
come here and find it. Beautiful. Feel the love? So, so many hiding shadow energy behind the scenes, displaying the light only, as if all is smooth sailing and so cruisy. Now that they're in 5D, they don't need to protect now because they're way above the negative ed energies. You know, that's not realistic or grounded, and they are definitely not feeling. I call bullshit on that, all right? That's just not reality. You may say that's their reality, then you're not listening and not taking what I'm saying energetically coming from a higher vibration, okay? We need to realise we have a long way to go before souls grow further on a new earth timeline. And I say this because we as a collective have put the cart before the horse and jumped ahead about new earth, okay? Uh, many do not realise they're on a hijacked timeline, okay? I did a video on this not long ago. Uh, it's, it's, I would guide everybody uh, ascension timeline hijack um, because many are saying they're now not connecting with humanity they're not they're pulled back all of that will the previous video I did on the hijacked timeline will explain what's happened and why you do not feel connected okay it's it's an incredible uh, video that I'd love all of humanity to see but it'll be for those that they're ready so we need to walk away because it's not our, our, our uh, our place to tell people anymore in their faces if we see them on another timeline we need to walk away they ne either need to come to us or if need be stay where they are to learn what they need to you ready many are not coming with us as a previous update shared now if you didn't get how big this is go back and look many are not realizing that humanity is just entering being a walker of two worlds energies 3d to 5ds and beyond everybody wants to be at 5d in new earth they're skipping they're, they're jumping they're wanting to jump there is you cannot rush fool or cheat ascension is a saying at least 10 years ago that was written as living divine words all my updates from 10 years are now current Okay, that's what living ahead of time means. It just means I had a more public role because many of you can relate as well. So this is the main area I help people with personally and regular basis to help them let go of the cords and threads and be consciously aware of letting go of the old. Okay, so I need to stop, shift energies, have a drink of water before I go into the next bit. These videos could be watched back over and over and over and over and over many many times we're 27 minutes in and um it's all here when you're ready or not so here's something that Thea Williams wrote about that I copied that I loved you ready energy shift all day every day at times they are higher in intensity if this eclipse is a cosmic event where energy, energies rise and consciousness shifts, what would be the best way to prevent that? Not soon, not the National Guard, not NASA, but fear. Haven't we already learned that? Or maybe you forgot. We are co-creating with cosmic energy all day long. Exactly what I'm getting at and have been getting at for quite some time you are the event we are co-creating with embodying consciously the cosmic energy that's the extra bit i would add how do you want to participate with this intense eclipse energy what do you want the outcome to be that's where you focus your intention ignore all the nasa soon and fear-mongering crap nothing is more powerful than the hearts and the minds of the human gods boom amen yes refreshing 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 to see that been written because it's really time to lighten up moving into another phase you ready see the infinity symbol golden infinity if you'd like to be a subscriber to email longer written updates which i used to do and other videos voicing and sharing little mini updates and and whatever else I'm guided to email. There is an exchange asked for that monthly. Please email me at theoraclespeaks at bigpond.com 
or you can register through the website anastasiabluebeyondguide.com. So that has been created for those souls. There were 16,000 uh, followers before Facebook changed algorithms. And for those souls who wanted to continue with those exclusive updates, that is still open. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one to have everything sorted, let me tell you, there's been a 100% success rate um, with everybody that has booked in that either was looking for promotion, selling a house, buying a house, something to do with abundance. I'm here to help with abundance for the whole planet, Australia. And every single person that's came and booked in has had a 100% outcome of breaking through those old abundance issues. If you would like help to help yourself with breaking through, with bringing through a new energy, you could call it your business if you like, that's fine. And you're, you've tried, you've done courses and webinars and paid all this money out and you're still in that same place, one on one again. So all this is still available. I don't know what will happen after this year is what will be available, but I don't know. Um, so a big release of energy. See rainbow energies coming now. I'm just going to take a moment to see where I'm guided to go to next from here. And it was along the lines of, I'm just going to have a, a brief... Uh, Rita, you do. Hi, Rita, you do watch them all the time. Hi, everyone. So, it's time now, I think it was 2015, lighten the F up. I was the first one to write a spiritual post like that in the um, in 5D database, which was the largest spiritual database for the planet. I was Australian correspondent for that years ago. Um, so, I'm just asking here, I, I, I want to share about the religious psychosis because I wrote that I would and I'm just filling into this now and I feel I may leave that. I, I will just say briefly this, that so many are either what I call Bible bashing about Jesus will save you in a fanatical way as one doesn't need to go out and write it on every comment and spruik it everywhere, or you should go and, and let Jesus save you. And you know, all of that religious energy is a form of religious psychosis, which is on the rise in a way I've not seen in 30 years with many people that have been working on their ascension, spiritual awakening, whatever term you want to put it, journey, that everything has gotten too much for them. They've, Doreen Virtue, hands down, there's an example of one. She's, a, I believe she's been a walk-in. You know, it does take its toll on some souls. So a lot of people are in a religious psychosis and I will table it and say that's Bible bashing. You know, if you feel the inner Christ unconditional love, you don't need to force it on others, okay? It's an inner deep feeling knowing privately that's shown by how you speak and treat others and what you're like when no one is looking. And it's not like an Amway ad, you know, that's what it's become. It's become a psychosis for many. Or they are trashing um, those who do believe in what they do. So. I say it's time to give it all a rest, let each person follow and believe what helps them to cope as their truth. Unconditional truth, unconditional love, truth and honesty is what I go by without any labels. Back to basics, many seem to have forgotten or got lost along the way in being a little self-righteous or judging or mirroring their trauma onto others. So I'm going to finish off with what someone wrote about. The Path of the Mystic, it's quite long, by Gigi Young. I don't know if I will read it all. I'll pick elements of it out to embody physically, table and voice, and then share a little bit of insight with that because it was so wonderfully refreshing to feel and read at the 10D vibration level, which is the highest vibration you can consciously reach, feeling, embodying, linking with spirit, spirit and soul linking, Walking the path of the mystic can be challenging as more often than not you will receive information that confronts mainstream opinions. 
Spiritual sight can be years or decades ahead and thus the mystic must bear the burdens of appearing foolish and crazy to the world. I want to add here the hiyoka is laughing, going forwards, walking backwards. Absolutely, I'm fully embodying her yoga energies and fully embodying the mystic energies of let us not hiding the foolish and the craziness. I won't dumb that down, okay? I'm not going to change anything that doesn't look professional, no. So let's go back. Often times their work doesn't reach full maturation until after their death. Even that bit there, a lot of my stuff may not be seen until I pass away as well and leave this physical body. Um, again, reflect this for you. It's not about me. It's not all about me. Remember that, remember that, remember that. The dynamic is why we see the archetype of the holy fool often played by spiritual teachers to gain a sense of of control. Both Blavatsky, I don't know who Gurdjieff is, would often times act out in seemingly bizarre and contradictory behaviours. So I actually I will bring this to me. This is very much has been what's very much while many saw those behaviours of evidence of mental instability consciously, there's the key, becoming the fool, work to free them from the pressures of both adoration and ridicule. There you go. That's why we lighten up. Rather than being victim of this dynamic, they took control of it. The holy fool understands that by nature they are, they are moving against the mainstream. And it says, if the mystic must be a fool, must also be a fool, then I will be a fool of my own making. So this is about choose between honouring your own vision, following the crowd as you go inward. You meet your darkest thoughts and traumas. You realise while you have a higher sense of truth, you're partially blinded by your own biased and unhealed wounds. Eventually, every mystic discovers they are the wounded healer. And the key to this is when I read someone spoke about the wounded healer, how conscious of you about now that you've chosen to live from your inner world, the next step is purification. To walk the path, you cannot desire adoration acceptance or power from the world don't look on the outside and complain don't look out there where's the change where is all the help for the wounded healers where it's here right here turn your blinkers inwards you must get it from within release attachments to the material plane seeking power validation and meaning in the world is contradictory Thus, the mystics use their power solely for personal gain, will eventually suffer great humiliations. There you go. A lot have fallen off the platforms. Okay. Uh, let me see. There's more. There's more. You must, your will must unite with Christ and you must become a direct vehicle for that. I don't like using the word force. Um, this is where glory and beauty lies when the mystic surrenders to Christ within themselves. All obsession, discovery with the self and creating an identity in the world become ridiculous acts of desperation as when you enter in your heart to meet Christ. So it's talk about Christ resting within your own heart that then will show instead of the Bible bashing, preaching, religious psychosis that has taken over. More people are looking for something to clutch to. It's great, but behind a lot of souls that go to churches... And they're all doing the best they can, said in love and respect. It's so much hypocrisy and darkness and shadow. And that is what's coming up and out more now. We experience the irony that self-discovery and even external knowledge does not come from the ego nor lower our faculties. It appears as though it's always been there when unifying with the essence of Christ within our heart. See, gentle, pink, pink, Mother Mary, essence is coming through you, filling up with pink. See behind me that vision of Mother Mary. See and feel Mother Mary's energy behind you with the sacred heart for whatever that visual comes to you, Master. Thank you, you beautiful souls. Susie, yes, Susie, yeah, it is excessive. And as this is said in so much love on my knees, crying all my life for, for, for humanity, for souls. This comes from such a pure, loving space. 
that people come through their filters when they approach us and we can no longer hold space with that anymore. So hi Carol, Stephane, Arissa, hey my beautiful Arissa, Kelly, uh, and, and thank you everyone for joining, for being the amazing strong soul that you are, for going through everything that you have and are. It's time to let go of the old, it's time to increase our boundaries. You may have heard this before, hear this new in a new way from an ascension pioneer of 30 years, being ahead of time just as you have clearing and paving a new way generationally for yourself from here on we've just reached 40 minutes that is huge huge long time to be on here to hold this space energetically now the feminine on your left and your masculine on your right the pictures are now balancing feel the gentle <sighs> tilt your head back galactic breath Divine feminine and masculine energies balancing and aligning. Focus inwards. Let go of all on the outer about all the fear and everything that's going on because what do we need to do? We need to wait for the other shoe to drop. We need to wait and see from the information that we get that comes through how it then presents and peers and bodies itself in the human being from the spiritual aspect. So we need to slow down, let go in the mind of the head, racing head, trying to plan and sort things out as an organizer. Maybe I didn't do that and punish myself from the past. You are back and forth in depression, anxiety. Stop. You've got this. You haven't come this far to leave yourself without a solution or an outcome, but you need to slow down to catch the fuck up with yourself. Slow down to catch up with yourself. Can you feel the energy slowing? Slowing right down now. Get very real and honest with yourself. And most of all, be gentle with yourself. You deserve your love and gentleness more than ever. What you may say you can't find from anyone else or whatever you're looking for someone your parents whatever that is for you it can only ultimately really come from you now and as i said to someone the other day it was a beautiful soul that comes and cleans my house when was the last time you prayed now i'm not talking about religious and you can do that if you like it's up to you um when was the last time you asked for help and you know, every time I've asked a soul that question when I'm guided to, 10 out of 10, that soul says, oh, or I forgot, or I haven't for a while, or, so, or some reason. So a gentle re-reminder, we're getting back to love, starting with inner love. Honestly, let all that go. Like there's a lot of stress at the moment about the young souls and they can't buy houses here in Australia and they're blaming the boomers, you know, blame the government. Don't, don't, don't blame the boomers. And, and they're looking outside and stressing. And I heard one guy on television say, and I loved it, he said, don't look at all that. You just keep saving and have faith and belief and trust that something will come and happen. And I ask you to apply the same. Turn the blinkers from outwards to inwards. Be kind and gentle on you and speak to you like a new best friend because you deserve it and you earned it and I love you. Thank you so much for your love and prayers and blessings back because I know many of you send it and we all send it from above as we release the old and we wait and see what happens with the solar eclipse energies wait and see and then we will know and then have a look at all the people that predicted and said all these things you've got to be careful not to jump ahead too fast too soon you stay right here now bless love you thank you for coming here today thank you for watching this back watch it back as many times it'll be shared here and also on the website website Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide and I see a blue beautiful diamond coming in right now so the visual is the blue diamond and I'll let you to work with that as you're guided thank you so much everyone 4410 bye